Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week, your votes sent me to see Pandorum, uh, the story of astronauts set in the distant future, well, 170 years or so in the future. Uh, the Earth has become overrun with population, all of our resources are running out, so a search is undertaken to find an Earth-like planet that uh, we can colonize. One is found and we load up a bunch of uh, corpsicles, as I like to refer to them, people in suspended animation, along with uh, all the genetic material needed to reproduce all of our animals and plants and such, and we're on a ship called the Elysium uh, on a uh, very long journey to get to this new planet. However, one of the guys, uh, an engineer, wakes up all of a sudden. The, the ship is dark. He can't contact anybody. And there are these guys running around, except they don't look completely human. Uh, he runs into a few other people who aren't monsters uh, along the way. And uh, he discovers that the planet Earth has been completely annihilated. And... Um, they're the only little bit of humanity left in the universe and they're on board this ship that is crawling with these creatures who want to use them as food. Um, the movie is kind of dull to be honest with you. It, uh, it shouldn't be but it is. It uh, tends to run on kind of long and gets really predictable in the action scenes. Um, the, uh, the guy who wakes up, his character name is Bauer, and uh, he's, he's, the, he's the hero of the piece, and along with some of the other folks that he runs into, and these, these creatures, the, the, the action scenes are, are at times quite redundant. Um, he usually gets his butt kicked. And then at the last second, either somebody comes and saves him, or he manages to get in a punch or stab the monster or whatever, and uh, is able to escape. Uh, and the the storyline, the, the 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 title Pandorum comes from uh, a reference to um, space sickness, if you will, space madness. People who are on long-term space missions tend to show uh, paranoia and, and other problems and become violent. And there is a theory that that's what's happened on board this ship. That's why it is powered down and nobody knows where everybody is. Um, that, that whole part of the movie is so seldom done. Uh, it only it's only done when it's convenient for one of the characters to go crazy, uh, and it's uh, I don't know the the movie's just just not all that entertaining. It, it tends to run on kind of long. Uh, the monsters are yeah they're kind of scary and gross, and there are several gross sections in this film, uh, but. It really didn't do much for me. I mean, I you know I was just sitting there, you know, waiting for the next fight or, or the next big revelation about what the what happened to the mission and all that stuff. You know, and it's 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 not that I cared that much. I just wanted to get to the end of it. It's it looks okay. It's really dark though uh, until the very end of the film. Uh, the acting is you know okay, and you know it's there's just nothing much really to that sets it on fire that makes it this really amazing event that everybody has to go see you can live until you stick it on your Netflix queue I'm giving it two guitars go to WIMC.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie I'll see you next time till next time stand the movie man toodles <laughs>